guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Droid Theory strikes again with a theory ROM, this time for the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is called Zygote, and it's version 1.5. Uh, this thing is custom. And what we'll do is we'll go uh, through a quick overview of the ROM, and then I'll show you guys how to install it. As you see here that it's had lots of mods and tweaks to make it faster. This ROM includes the tray bucket uh, customized launcher. Uh, which gives you some extra added functionality if you, uh, well, first thing you'll notice here is the menu button down there at the dock. And you can, from here, you can manage your applications. Or you can go straight to your system settings, which you could already do from the pull down menu. Um, or you can go in here and change your launcher preferences. So you can change out the number of home screens that you want. You can choose a default screen. Uh, you can disable the persistent search bar, which is really cool. Um, and then if you go back, there's some more features. You have some drawer features there. And then general features uh, for the auto-rotate screen. Of course, there's no dock or icon features here yet. Uh, but this is a really cool launcher. It's quick. It's light. And it has some added functionality there. And as you see, the search bar is gone, which is really cool. Uh, because that thing gets pesky, it takes up a lot of room and space. Uh, if you click on the app drawer here, you'll notice that uh, your bloatware, the Verizon bloatware, is removed. It is not there. This thing is completely deodexed and debloated. Uh, we all know that Ice Cream Sandwich on this phone didn't come with much bloatware, but the two apps that it came with had been removed. You could have just disabled them, but anyhow, they're gone. Um, let's see here, if you click on the power button here, you get a whole new power menu that includes some toggles, the screenshot button, and a reboot menu so that you can go directly into Clockwork Recovery or the bootloader. That's a really neat feature. And then also on the uh, pull-down notification bar, you do have the toggle widgets. Uh, this is just the base and the beginning of what's to come for Theory ROM on the Galaxy Nexus. This is the CDMA version here. Uh, there's lots of mods to come if you guys have been following the Theory ROM series that I've covered on the Bionic. You know that there's a ton more to come. He generally builds out his base and then he puts custom UIs, themes, and modifications uh, along with that in the builds to come. So we have lots to expect from Droid Theory and the Theory ROM team. Uh, this wallpaper here does not come with the Zygote, but I will include a download link in the description. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into the install instructions. You'll want to head over to the link in the description, download this ROM, and uh, you can go ahead and download the wallpaper too if you'd like. Then you'll need to boot into Clockwork Recovery. So your phone needs to be rooted. You need to have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. You can check out my tutorials. Uh, just go to my channel. I have a couple tutorials on how to root the phone, unlock the bootloader, and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So the way that you would get there is you would just power down the phone, press and hold the volume buttons along with power until the bootloader comes up. I'm going to show you guys how the reboot options work here in the Zygote ROM. From this ROM, I can just reboot recovery right there from the menu, which makes things a whole lot easier. And with this unlocked bootloader, you guys will be flashing ROMs daily. The developers are really good about keeping their stuff updated, and a lot of guys are putting updates out daily. It's hard to keep up with these developers. They're just developing things at such an incredible pace. So once you're here in Clockwork Mod Recovery, Try to get it to where you guys can see it a little better. Okay, so once you're here, uh, you will just, first you will wipe data, factory reset, just select that. Select wipe data, factory reset, and then head to yes. Do that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back. And then you will wipe cache. Select that, and then go down to yes. Wipe cache. Once that's complete, you will go to... And, uh, mounts and storage. Do not skip this step. If you skip this step, things will not go well for you. You're going to want to go down to format system. Select that. 
go to yes format system when that's finished you'll go back okay you'll then go to advance and wipe Dalvik cache select yes wipe Dalvik cache when that is completed you will go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card if you downloaded this directly to your phone it will be in the download directory and you'll choose zygote 1.5 public sign and you will flash that give it about five minutes to flash and then of course you will go all the way back and reboot the phone one thing I forgot to mention here is it does come with a custom kernel which seems to speed things up and definitely improves the data connection so we'll reboot that and I'll show you guys the awesome boot animation that's included with this ROM and then we'll sign off guys thanks for watching check out all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3, and subscribe to this channel. Once again, thanks for watching, guys.